Hello, my lovely. So welcome to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, my lovelies, we are back beginning with the month of November. How was all of you guys' Hallow's Eve? I hope you guys had a blast like we did. I hope you guys celebrated. And uh, let's get into it. Let's see what your sign can expect for this month of November, 2023. We're going to begin here with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Spirit guides, ancestors, higher masters, please step forward. Allow us to see here, sense beyond, receive the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November, 2023. All right. How are you guys doing? If you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide, any type of spell work, any type of uh, spiritual working or readings or consultations, you'll be able to find all of that on the description box below. Also, I want to remind you guys, please be careful of the people that you follow on your social medias. There is tons of accounts pretending to be me. You guys can definitely make sure that you're following the right, uh, my right, my correct social medias. All of that is linked to my YouTube channel to make it easier for you guys to know that it's me. <laughs> All right, let's begin, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for you guys for this month of November 2023. All right, here we go. In regards to communication, you have the lover's card. So for some of you guys may be dealing with Gemini for the month of November. I'm hearing for some of you guys, it could be almost a situation, it could be a relative, a friend, uh, someone that's very close to you, um, where you might have to, they may tempt your patience, but I feel what I'm hearing is you have to be patient with them or help them because they are in their process of some type of healing that's happening here. Um, and they are really going to be needing from you or from your support. Now, for other of you Scorpios, uh, this could be a friend. This could be someone outside of your family dynamic. However, I do feel that uh, communication is going to be very good. I just feel like for some of you guys, you may feel a little bit overburdened with other people's responsibilities or dramas that they may be dealing with for the month of November. Uh, however, I don't feel that it has a, a directly impact to you. It has more to do with uh, outside people that are going through it, that are going to need your emotional support. All right, in regards to your finances and career, you have the King of Pentacles, so things will be progressing in regards to finances and career. For those of you guys that have been uh, perhaps challenged in the previous month, uh, you're going to start to see more of flow, of money flow, uh, more stability or more consistency that is going to be unfolding for you guys. Now, for your challenge, you do have here the Three of Cups. Try the best you can to maintain balance. Uh, balance is going to be very important for this month for you guys when we're speaking about health, okay? So make sure that you're not over drinking, you're not overeating, you're not overtaking pills or whatever it is that you're into. Make sure that you're not um, overdoing it in general. Uh, this could be directly linked to being there for someone or being an emotional support for someone um, when it starts to impact your emotional state of mind. Uh, that's when you need to learn to either say no or to pull a bit back um, so that it doesn't affect you on a personal level. But uh, the challenge for most of you is going to be maintaining some type of balance, not overdoing things. Uh, again, not over partying, not over drinking, overeating, anything like that. Um, because if you guys do, you will be experiencing a bit of health issues that may arise for this month of November. Now, when it comes to your emotions, you do have here the emperor. There is a need to bring some type of stability or some type of um, boundaries in this relationship or in the connection with a partner or a person of interest. There is a need for some type of structure here. For some of you guys, you may be going through some type of transition where there needs to be more structure in this relationship or setting some type of boundaries. Now, this could be you or this could be your partner. Uh, if it is your partner, you may experience a bit of challenges in regards to how you communicate or connect with them for this month of November. 
the emperor is always stubborn type of energy. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's just a transformational uh, energy that is influencing currently your relationship or partnerships where there is definitely a need for some type of structure, whether it's learning about boundaries for others of you, it could be creating boundaries. And for others of you, it could be your partner setting limits or some type of boundaries, um, perhaps feeling a bit uh, restricted and having the need to put their foot down in some type of situation. So now spirits message for you guys here is the two of cups. For the month of November, Scorpio, try the best you can to approach everything with a loving energy. Yes, this includes uh, drama or dealing with outside people or friends or relatives that may be carrying a bit of drama. Try the best you can to be patient with them. Uh, they are needing love and support. When we're talking about relationships and partnerships as well, approach these situations with love in a loving way. Um, that is your spiritual advice. Why? Because if we don't approach it in a loving or compassionate manner, uh, things can progress for the negative for some of you guys, especially when we're talking about partnerships. So again, try to be patient and try to approach the situation in a loving and compassionate way. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November, 2023. If you guys like these readings, definitely like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are new. Helps with the algorithm. <laughs> All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with you guys for this month of November, 2023. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, here we go. All right, in regards to communication, Eight of Cups and the King of Pentacles with your finances and career. Okay, so with the Eight of Cups in regards to communication, I feel you guys are going to be challenged um, for this month in regards to how you express your feelings or how you express your thoughts. Eight of Cups does indicate to me kind of walking away from a situation or there's going to be need for you to walk away from a situation instead of making it worse. I feel like for some of you guys, you're heading towards a beginning cycle um, where there is more illumination or for others of you, revelations that may be unfolding. Um, but I would highly encourage you guys for this month, try the best you can if need be to bite your tongue a little, uh, you don't want to stir the pot. You don't want to get into deeper shit that you may be experiencing. Um, <clears throat> so as a way of advice, I would uh, encourage you guys to be tactful in your way you express or communicate. And this is not just with relationships or friends or et cetera. This could be very directly connected to your finances and career as well. For some of you guys, you're going in through some, you're going to some type of transition. Some of you guys may be changing jobs. For others of you, you may be beginning a new career with the King of Pentacles here. I feel like for some of you guys, uh, your finances and career are going to become much more stable, or you're going towards a new chapter where there's more stability. But again, it's going to take the higher version of you to walk away from things that are not necessary. So what I mean by that is when we talk about communication, eight of cups speaks about leaving certain things behind and moving on. Um, so again, there is a habit or some type of cycle, some type of how you express yourself that has become a detriment to your progress. At this point, you need to leave those habits behind or, um, even having to uh, having the need to have the one or to be the one to put or to say the last word. Uh, sometimes that's more to do with pride. And right now what's fair to say is you got to walk away from all of that because that's what's helping you. Sorry, that's what's hindering you um, to be able to move forward. OK, you don't want to burn bridges if you don't know how to swim. OK, keep that in mind. Now, in regards to your challenge here, you have the two of cups. So there is a situation that may arise where you're going to be you're going to be tested emotionally i feel for a lot of you guys this could be in connection to a relationship or some type of partnership two of cups does indicate to me um there's not really a challenge it's it's more so 
having the need to give or to be as loving and compassionate as you are with those that you love with yourself. So it's almost like having the need, you're going to be challenged to choose yourself over someone or something in the month of November. Um, so this could be as an example, if you are in a relationship and it's not working out or it's not going the way you would hope, you're going to be put in a position where you're going to have to make a choice. And the choice is not about walking away. It's more so closing the door on something and learning to choose or to put yourself first. And that is what's coming on very strongly for you guys. So again, you're going to be dealing with this situation. The challenge for this month is learning to choose yourself or put yourself first. Now, when we talk about um, emotions and uh, in regards to relationships, Knight of Pentacles does indicate going towards a new endeavor, a new journey for some of you guys. You've been holding on to some type of hope or wanting um, to stabilize, strengthen, or reconnect. Um, it is coming, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's going to be a long process. For some of you guys, you're choosing to walk away rather than to sit in the sidelines waiting for someone to make up their mind. All right. And finally, your spirit's message here. We have the three of swords. Again, I feel very strongly for a lot of you guys, you're going to be challenged in the sense of learning. You're being forced. You're being forced to think for yourself or to put yourself on survival mode. And that's not necessarily a negative thing. I feel like at this point, it's necessary for you, Sagittarius. So again, I feel like it's going to come down to you choosing something or someone or choosing yourself and your peace of mind or what's right for you, what's good for you or your peace and sanity. So again, choose yourself, Sagittarius. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Capricorns. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November, 2023. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November, 2023. Oh, we got cards flying out. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so we're starting off here with the strength card. Um there is a beaming light that you're currently going to be experiencing or already experiencing Capricorn. If you're noticing like more people are being drawn to you or coming to you or seeking uh, for your wisdom or seeking your attention, um, I feel like you're becoming much more empowered or confident. And when I say confident, I don't mean on a superficial level. I feel like it has more to do with being confident in your capabilities and what you're capable of doing. Um, so there is a transition that's happening here where you are becoming unapologetic about the way you express yourself and what you're willing to uh, do for other people and what you're not willing to do anymore. There is almost this higher elevation type of energy that's happening in regards to how you communicate or how you express yourself. For a lot of you guys, you're going to be tapping into your creative energy. So for some of you guys, you're taking on a new endeavor, uh, some type of creative endeavor that's going to be very soul fulfilling for a lot of you guys. Uh, for others of you, you may be communicating with a Leo or fire energy for this month. Now, the next card here in regards to your finances and career, we have the tower card. Okay, very strong powerful energy. I'm going to pull out more cards to see what's going on here. Okay. So what I'm seeing for you guys is there is definite elevation here that's happening. And Capricorn, let me talk to you for a second. For a lot of you guys, you are going to start to notice or have, have already begun to notice that you're not dealing with as much chaos and destruction as you had been dealing with the past two years. So there is almost this ending cycle where you're being forced or you're being pushed to take it to the next level. So if you've been experiencing, I want to say the past two weeks up until now, 
a bit of challenges. I don't want you to despair. I don't want you to worry about it or fixate on, you know, life is always so difficult for me. It's so complicated and complaining about it basically, because what I'm seeing here is what you're currently dealing with or what you're being forced to deal with right now has a higher purpose. And that higher purpose is to push you and take you to the next level. Are you ready, Capricorn? Because if you are, like I said, embrace it, dive deep into it and deal with what you need to deal with because you no longer have to deal with that moving forward. And it's all about being able to receive. So you need to open up to the possibilities. The key is in your hands, meaning how far you go or how far you want to go comes down to you and your beliefs or your limiting self-beliefs because the world will definitely open up for you. It is going to be very transformational. You're not going to be in the same energy that you are now in the next coming year. So there is a major jump here. The tower is destruction. You are breaking down barriers, breaking down boundaries, breaking down bondages that have kept you or that you've shrunken yourself to accommodate others around you. Well, that's no longer going to be the case. And again, like I said, I feel like there is a major transformation that's happening where you're being pushed and or forced to grow, to expand, to put your fears aside, to decide what it is that you want and to make it happen. What is the possibility of you making it happen? I would say about 95%. You have the world card here. The four of pentacles, holding on to that key, holding on to the pentacles. The more you try to hold on to things, the more you will find that there is resistance. If you let go of the fear of always pinching your money, because I'm so scared of not having stability, and instead actually enjoy the energy of money when you go out or when you go shopping, you actually enjoy it and then don't later experience remorse or regret. That's something you need to work on, Capricorn. You will notice that more money starts to come in. So it's releasing your fears to be able to fully embrace the opulence and abundance around you, okay? Finally, spirits, advice, two of swords, listen to yourself, listen to your intuition, listen to that little voice within you that whispers very, very ever so gently. The more you pay attention to that, the more you're gonna strike gold, the more you're gonna make the right decisions for you, the more you're going to start to feel literally like there is magic in the air. Why? Because you're going into a cycle of a lot of growth and a lot of abundance. But again, stop doubting yourself and let go of your fears, Capricorn. For those of you guys that are interested in manifestations or shadow work, working on limiting self-beliefs and all of that, you can find the links to our Amazon books and journals. You'll be able to find all of that on the description box below. Highly encourage you guys to get that Capricorn if you feel like you do limit yourself. And sometimes we do it on a very unconscious level. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November, 2023. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November, 2023. Let's see what's going on. In regards to communication, you have the Five of Cups, a bit of regret or some type of remorse. For some of you guys, you're going to be uh, experiencing some type of setback, some type of disillusionment more than anything is what I'm hearing. Um, <clears throat> okay, let me pull out more cards too. All right, so what I'm seeing for you guys, Aquarius, is the constant forcing yourself to relive things from the past. So for some of you guys, you haven't let go of the past. For others of you, you haven't outgrown that situation. Um, or for others of you, you're just scared of starting again, starting new. You're so consumed with the idea of the past was the best that you're not fully being present and you're not helping your near future, right? Because the more we hold on to the past, the more we crave it, the more we think that those were our best years, 
guess what the universe is going to do? It's going to continuously put you in situations that make you feel exactly that, that the best has passed. So you got to let go of the past. Seven of wands in regards to your finances and career speaks to me about having the need to speak up. For some of you guys, this five of cups may be because you may be hearing or you may be getting news at work. Um, perhaps you're waiting for some type of raise, some type of bonus, and you find out in this month that you will not be getting that. And there is a feeling of disappointment. However, with the seven of wands, they're encouraging you to stand your ground. Uh, if you feel like you have been overlooked, you have every single right to speak up and to force people to pay attention to you, okay, by any means necessary. So what I mean by that is don't just accept the fact that they denied your commission or they denied your advancement or they denied your raise. Ask questions about it. If you feel like you've been putting effort and energy and you deserve that raise, then speak up about it. Because if you don't, what's going to happen is that they will continuously keep overlooking you. And there is a need for you to take your power back and know exactly what you deserve. Now, when we're talking about the challenge for this month, King of Pentacles is stubborn energy for some of you guys. This stubbornness could have to do with, again, the past or dealing with the past, having the need to take, mm, I wouldn't necessarily say like you've been denying yourself from taking responsibility, but if there was a situation where you feel like you missed out on an opportunity or like you screwed up or like things could have been better if you were emotionally mature, you need to be kind to yourself because that is part of the human nature, having to learn through lessons so that we can grow. But it also takes self-responsibility and it also has to do with taking your power back. The moment you no longer play the victim role or the victim mentality. Um, so what I mean by that is not to say that what you've been through or what you've gone through Aquarius is, you know, everyone is, this is a general reading, so I can connect with many of you. Um, the message is still the same though. There is a need to stop, like having the need to stop finger pointing or blaming other people for why things didn't work out, whether it was in a relationship, whether it was at, you know, uh, the previous job you were at uh, or the current job that you're at, like stop blaming other people and take your power back by saying, okay, I'm taking full responsibility for whatever it was that I lacked in that time. Um, obviously I wasn't the same version of myself as I am today because that's where maturity comes in. But by you doing that, what you're doing is you're empowering yourself. You're bringing this energy of uh, being empowered and knowing um, it's okay if we mess up. It's okay if we ruin a relationship because we were scared or because we thought we were going to like lose our freedom or because we thought that they were kind of forcing us to change and whatever the situation is, it's okay to not have seen it then, but now to be able to take responsibility where we effed up. I hope I'm making myself clear. Now, when we talk about love and romance, Ace of Wands is telling you it's time to embrace a new beginning. So again, if you guys have been holding on to someone from the past, hoping that they would return or that they would come back around, I don't see that happening. If anything, they're telling you it's time to move on, Aquarius. It's time to embrace a new beginning. It's also... um very important that at this point in time, you fully embrace the passions. Okay. So what I mean by that is for some of you guys, there may be lack of romance or love in, in your love life. And what they're telling you is it's time to be a little bit more spontaneous. It's time to put yourself out there, Aquarius, and to really uh, be inspired by passion and what drives you, what motivates you. Now, when we talk about the spirit's message here, you have the king of wands, Again, be bold, be spontaneous for the month of November. The more spontaneous you are, the more you're going to experience growth and evolving on a soul level. Um, and, and there's definitely, again, a lot of masculine energy that I'm seeing here. So for some of you guys, it could be that you're feeling much more empowered. You're feeling much more confident. 
For others of you, this could be uh, symbolizing for some of you guys that you're going through a transition where you will be feeling much more like a higher drive, especially those of you guys that have been experiencing a bit of low energy. You're definitely going towards uh, uh, some type of rebirth, some type of um, recharge, uh, regeneration that's happening here, transmutation that's happening and you're going to, your drive is definitely going to kick off. So again, fully embrace your passions. You guys hope you get my drift in that. Okay, moving on. All right, let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November, 2023. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November, 2023. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November, 2023. Okay, here we go, Pisces. In regards to communication, you have the Ten of Swords. In regards to your finances and career, Four of Wands, the Challenge, the Hierophant, and Love, Eight of Wands with Spirit's Advice, the Emperor. Okay, Pisces, it's time for you to stop dealing with the same never ending cycle that you've been experiencing the past, I want to say the past two years and a half. Um, what they're telling you is that at this point in regards to communication, 10 of swords is indicating that there is an ending cycle that's quickly approaching for you guys. For some of you guys, this ending cycle could have to do with what you would consider stability or what you've considered stability at some point. So what I mean for the for some of you guys, this can connect in the aspect that for some of you, you may be experiencing or being challenged in regards to some type of higher elevation of commitment. Um, for those of you guys that are married, perhaps you're going through a cycle of um, making the decision or finally taking that, uh, taking charge and taking the decision that it's better off to go your own separate ways. There is definitely something here that is being challenged and it's come to its conclusion. So I feel like for some of you guys, it's been very difficult um, to either accept that perhaps a marriage or a long-term commitment hasn't been working, um, but you're definitely going to be tested this month in November. There's definitely a need for a decision to be made. And it's kind of like eye-opening for a lot of you guys. Now, when we talk about your finances and career, you're going to begin to experience more stability. For some of you guys, there is change of residency or change of home. For some of you guys, you're purchasing your first home. There is definitely a creating of a new home energy here that you're going to be experiencing this month all the way to December. Um, but again, for a lot of you guys, this could be at the culmination of some type of ending cycle in your life. So what I'm getting for some of you guys is if you're going through a divorce, November is the month where you start to feel more stable or you get more comfortable in the in this new role, in this new facet of your life. For others of you, it is that you start to experience more abundance and more stability right after there's been an ending cycle or an ending relationship. If that's something that you're going through, Pisces, just know that this is a sign from spirit telling you that they were just holding you back. Now, the challenge for the month of November is the Hierophant. So a lot of your spiritual beliefs, a lot of your education, or for some of you guys, the way you were raised, the way you were brought up, you're going to be questioning all of this this month of November. I feel like you guys are becoming much more evolved, much more uh, spiritually evolved. So you are expanding your awareness. And with this awareness, you're shedding or letting go of self-limiting beliefs that no longer serve you or no longer work for you. Through this, you're going to be able to experience much more, um, much more happiness, much more excitement, much more stability, um, but as well, growth. Growth that you, for some of you guys, maybe you felt like, it's been a bit slow and steady. You're definitely going to see momentum for this month all the way to December. Things are going to be happening more quickly for you guys. And it's because, again, I feel for a lot of you Pisces, there's an ending transition that's happening right now. 
where the, you've outgrown something. And at this point, you need to take self-responsibility. So I see you guys making decisions, making taking charge, basically. And when you do this, through this transition, do you start to experience more abundance, more opportunities, more growth, more expansion, and ultimately bringing to you the stability and the... um the foundation of what you've been working very hard towards, but it's going to come to you on your terms. So again, I feel like for a lot of you, the things you've been hoping and wanting, if those of you guys are in a relationship, this relationship, you may outgrow or you may break, break up or separate. And then you start to expand and you start to experience a lot of abundance, a lot of growth. Um, it was, or it is a difficult time in your life right now, but I feel like what they're basically telling you is when you've outgrown people, Pisces, stop sacrificing your happiness, stop being unapologetic, stop being apologetic about the desire of wanting to continue growing. There's nothing wrong with that. And if your partner's not helping you in, in achieving that, then maybe that's not the right partner for you. And it's okay to accept that. And it's okay to want more. And when you start to experience more, count your blessings because that's the stability that you deserve, okay? All right, Pisces. Moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November, 2023. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November, 2023. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Aries. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Communication, 10 of cups. Finances and career, six of wands. Challenge the justice card and the 10 of wands. Okay, so what I'm seeing for a lot of you guys, uh, Aries, the month of November, you're definitely going to be feeling the love. What do I mean by that? If you felt like you were a bit secluded, perhaps a bit uh, of a hermit mode, perhaps haven't been extremely social, or maybe you felt like you weren't necessarily communicating the right way or connecting with people the right way, uh, communication was just a challenge lately. You're definitely going to start to experience much more love in communication and as well as friends checking up on you or reaching out to you um where you felt like at some point there was almost this feeling of you were so like laser focused on something that you kind of forgot about everything or everyone and I feel like when you realize this feeling of like I wouldn't necessarily say loneliness but somewhat for some of you guys feeling a bit secluded then your phone, your phone starts to ring. People are reaching out. They're checking up on you. Like you're going to feel the love this month of November. Now, when we talk about your career and finances, you have the six of wands, a lot of attention coming to you. There's some type of achievement that's happening in this month for you uh, where people are taking notice or will be taking notice of your efforts and hard work. For a lot of you guys that are, as an example, if you're into anything that has to do with entertainment, anything that has to do with social media, you're going to start to notice more people being drawn to you or watching you or reaching out to you. There is this um, major momentum that's happening here where people are being very drawn to you in regards to uh, the challenge for this month is just the justice card. So I want you guys to make it a priority to find balance in everything you do for this month. Um, as an example, if you're working a lot, make sure that you're putting in effort to spend time with your family or your loved ones or your kids. Do not um, do not ignore or make something so much of a priority that you completely forget about everything else around you, Aries, because I feel like for some of you guys, you may miss an opportunity or two this month. And it has a lot to do because you guys are extremely laser focused on something and not being present, okay? For some of you guys, especially those of you guys that are single, this is the moment where people are going to be very drawn to you, um, but you want to not be laser focused on just one person, especially if it's just physical attraction. You want to give the opportunity to those that are trying to connect with you because you don't want to miss out on a good opportunity where later on you're like, 
holy crap, I messed up. Um, because I do see a person coming towards you and this person is not going to be the one to be begging for your attention. Um, so you really, it's a high, it's quality over quantity is what I'm hearing. Okay. Now in regards to love and romance, 10 of wands indicates being burdened or being overburdened with, with responsibilities that may be affecting your relationship or the lack thereof the connection, um, but I feel like right now, again, the message is the same. Try the best you can not to become so laser focused on something that you forget every other aspect of your life. As an example, work and finances is going amazing. Don't forget to nurture your love and romance as well and the family dynamic or spending quality time with your loved ones. Okay. All right. Spiritual advice here. We have the eight of swords. So the eight of swords does indicate to me fears, anxieties about the future. Uh, Aries, try the best you can. Again, don't fixate on things. It's going to be very important. I feel like you guys are going to be tested this month in regards to how you can, how good or how well are you to go with the flow. So I feel like the universe is going to be bringing to you people, contacts, uh, opportunities, and they're testing you in regards to surrendering to the process instead of driving yourself mad, overthinking or overanalyzing. And for some of you guys that have a tendency of overanalyzing, you might miss an opportunity or two because you take too long to make up your mind about something. Okay. All right. Moving on. Let's see what's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November, 2023. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can Taurus expect for this month of November, 2023? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Taurus. We're starting off here with the Sun card. Beautiful blessing coming your way. When we're talking about communication, um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are definitely going to be uh, doing very amazing this month in regards to how you express or how you communicate. For some of you guys, you may be excited um, about dealing with or communicating with a Leo that's coming into your life. This is especially for those of you guys that are single or have been single for quite a bit. Um, I'm definitely seeing a connection here and I feel like you guys will be, for some of you guys, uh, this a person that's coming in, you may meet them through social media or some type of dating app or something like that, but you guys hit it off very quickly. Um, and this is bringing a lot of excitement. Again, a lot of blessings coming your way, Taurus. I feel like there is a lot of pushing for your expansion uh, for the next coming months, actually. Now, when we talk about career and finances, three of ones, I feel like for some of you guys, you will be making the decision or will be thinking about making some type of transition. For some of you guys, this could be that you decide to get a better opportunity or to take on a new career, a new job, something that is not necessarily what you're accustomed to. So as an example, if you've been in the medical industry for quite a while, there may be a jump or some type of transition opportunity that comes your way, um, but it's not necessarily in the medical field. It could be connected to that, but not necessarily. I feel like there is a major, a major shift that happens here. So again, could be that you are in the medical field and all of a sudden you decide, you know what, I'm going to go into childcare or something like that. Uh, for others of you, it could be that you've been, you know, in sales as an example, and you decide to get a federal job or something like that. There is opportunities here for advancement. You're being pushed to grow, Taurus, whether you want to or not. I feel that either way, blessings are going to be bestowed upon you where you have no other choice but to embrace these new opportunities that are coming to you. Now, when we talk about the challenge, you have the Knight of Swords here. So for some of you guys, uh, you may be challenged. Um, you may be challenged in the aspect of someone getting on your last nerve. This could be an ex. This could be someone, especially if you guys are dealing with baby mamas or baby daddies. I feel like they're going to be very challenging this month or trying to give you or stir up some type of shit. Again, go with the flow. Don't fixate on you know, 
how much they are complicating your life. Tell yourself that you are the one in control, that you are above that, and that you're not going to allow them to get a reaction out of you because that's really what they want. Now, when we're talking about love and romance, you have the two of pentacles. Again, for some of you guys, I feel like there's options coming there, coming your way. I am seeing what's standing out to me a lot is the ships here. Not sure if you can see, probably not. The two ships, the two ships that, uh, that are here and here. So that's indicating to me some type of distance or some type of connection with someone that is from a distance um, where you will find yourself having multiple options or perhaps having to choose between two lovers. Um, for those of you guys that are in a relationship, I feel like you guys having are going to be experiencing having the need to bring some type of balance or some type of structure. If you are currently already going through that, that structure may come at the cost of the comfortability of your partner. So what I mean by that is sometimes we allow our partners to get too comfortable. And the moment that we start to either complain or start to have some type of standards and expectancies from them, to them, it becomes all of a sudden the relationship becomes so hard. And it's not that it's hard. It's just that now you are having an expectancy of what you want from the relationship or what you want from your partner. And because they lack the the, the being able to provide that for you, um, it's easier for them to just give up on it. But if you are currently going through that, again, don't force anything right now. Uh, Taurus, things are going to be falling into place the way they're meant to. Now, your spirit's message here is the Ace of Pentacles. Embrace every new possibility or opportunity that's coming your way this month of November. It's coming through basically good karma. The Sun card is unexpected blessings with the Ace of Pentacles. Embrace everything that is new. Newness, uh, there's a revamp of energy. And the more you embrace these new beginnings, these new cycles, new people coming into your life, um, even making the decision to make some type of transition in your career or finances, the more you embrace that, the more you're going to be closer or getting to the point of consistency and stability. All right, my lovelies, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November 2023. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November 2023. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Give me one second, you guys. Let me have a drink. All right, Gemini, here we go. When communication, we have the moon card. Okay. This is a very cryptic card, you guys. Um, immediately, what I'm being shown is that I feel you're going to be having trouble expressing your emotions or expressing your thoughts, Gemini. And it has a lot to do with the fact that you're going to be very inconsistent in your emotions this month. So what I mean by that is I feel like you're going to be having or experiencing outbursts. Um, and it's not something recent. It's that you've been suppressing or you've been like pushing down things that have been bothering you or that have been brewing inside of you. And at a very unexpected way or in a very sporadic way. Um, you're going to just, someone's going to say something and you're going to be feeling like you're going to be extremely triggered and you may just, you know, be triggered <laughs> and react in a way where people are like, what the hell is going on, Gemini? Like you're blowing things out of proportion, but I feel like, again, it's nothing that has to do with recent. I feel like it has more to do with pent up, uh, aggression, pent up frustration, um, for others of you, it's experiencing or hearing or seeing someone, uh, really for who they are. It's almost like the mask is coming off. Um, especially if you're dealing with anyone that is a cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, I feel like revelations are going to be unfolding this month for you guys. All right. In regards to your career and finances, you have the ace of wands, new beginnings, um, 
for some of you guys, there could be an opportunity that's coming your way where this is going to be very exciting for you because it's something you're really passionate about. Um, and what they're telling you is definitely embrace this new opportunity. Um, now, when we talk about the challenge for this month, again, Knight of Cups with the Moon card, I would highly encourage you guys if you feel like people are really tempting you to like act out of character or to like basically push you to the limit. Um, don't snap. Be in control of your emotions. Why? Because when we lose control over our emotions is because we're allowing someone else to have more control over us. And I feel like they're doing that in a very manipulative way, especially if you're dealing with a narcissistic person, perhaps that you dealt with in the past or an ex-partner, someone that was very manipulative. I feel like they're going to be very aggressive in giving you the hot and cold treatment. And the reason for that is because it's easier to them, it's easier to manipulate you that way. So again, don't give people reaction if what they're pushing you um, to your limit is because they are expecting some type of reaction. So give them no reaction at all. You want to rise above that. Don't let your emotions get the best of you, Gemini. Now, when we talk about love and romance, five of wands, again, uh, this is chaotic energy, you guys. I'm going to be honest. I feel like you guys are going to be challenged emotionally and perhaps even feeling drained. Um, because I feel like it's a tug of war in regards to egos, in regards to your subconscious, um, self-limiting beliefs for some of you, which is why you allow some people to treat you not necessarily very kindly. Um, but I feel like the best advice I can give you guys is for this month. If someone says something that's out of pocket, something that's out of line, something that it's not okay. I need you to speak up in the moment. Don't hold it. Don't hold it in because the next time they say something that may be less hurting or less damaging, you're going to flip the shit. And you don't want to do that because sometimes when we're very upset or very agitated, we say things that maybe we don't necessarily mean. And once you say it, you can take it back. So again, try the best you can to address things that are, um, bothering you in that moment. Don't let it brew. Don't let it boil until it comes to surface and then you snap. Okay. <laughs> Finally, spirits advise six of pentacles here. Be charitable, Gemini. Charitable in the aspect of be sensitive, be thoughtful. Uh, if you're able to help, help. But do it in a way that is genuine and authentic. What do I mean by that? Don't do it to seek out validation from others. Don't do it for others to tell you, oh, you're such a good person, Gemini, because you know that you are. You don't need or you shouldn't need that type of validation. OK, and this is not just financially or emotionally or whatever, because what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, it's like saying, you know, why am I always there for my friends, but my friends are not there for me, but yet you have other people around you that are good and kind to you. And it's as if they don't matter. Do you see what I'm saying? I hope you do. All right, moving on. All right, let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November, 2023. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys liked these videos, like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed and hit that like button. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November, 2023. Okay, here we go, Cancer. All right, we're starting off here with the Five of Cups. Oof, Seven of Swords, the World card. King of Wands. Okay. So when we talk about communication, there is a feeling of being let down for some of you guys. You're going through some type of mourning process or ending of a relationship. Could have been at the cost of lies or being deceived or finding out that you were being deceived. Um, 
for some of you guys, it could be that recently you found out about certain type of lies or people not being completely honest with you. The positive in this cancer is that um, it was necessary because these people that you've chosen to deal with that are not authentic and that are deceitful have only created more instability in your life, whether it's through them feeding off of your energy, whether it's them, you know, using you or manipulating you. Um, you've experienced a lot of instability through this and almost the feeling of uncertainty. And what they're showing me is that because of this revelations, this is spirit's way to open your eyes up, to see people for who they really are and to choose to put, or to choose to learn, to choose yourself because the world card is having the need to take it to the next level. You're definitely completed some type of cycle and in this completing of this cycle, you come out of it much more empowered. You come out of it knowing your worth. You come out of it knowing exactly what you're not going to be dealing with anymore. And this could be in every single aspect, not just romantically. This could be family. This could be friends. This could be people that were just leeching off of you in some type of way, whether it was financial, whether it's emotional or spiritual, it doesn't matter. What they're telling you is that the mask needed to fall for you to know where you stand and to learn that at the end of the day, you have to learn to choose yourself first or to put yourself first or to put your stability, your mental state of mind before anything. And it's a rude awakening, but I feel like the end of this month, there is going to be almost this sigh of relief cancer because you're going to see that you start to progress in a much more rapid way because you realize that this energy was only holding you back. Now, spiritual advice here is seven of wands. Exactly that. Choosing yourself, knowing to have boundaries, knowing how to put boundaries and those that are not okay with your boundaries can fuck off. It's that simple. They can just shoot the shit somewhere else <laughs> because it's about choosing yourself and making yourself happy. You cannot expect others to make you happy if you can't find the happiness within yourself, Cancer. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November 2023. What is unfolding for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November 2023? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, November 2023. Okay, here we go. Leo, we're starting off here with the six of pentacles. Communication is going to be amazing for you this month, Leo. I feel like people are definitely trying or, or doing their best to meet you halfway, to know where you're coming from. You're being heard. You're being understood. You're definitely being on the same page with everyone that is around you. I feel like you're getting a lot of support or you will be experiencing feeling or getting a lot of support this month of November. Now, when we talk about career and finances, you have the Knight of Wands. So there is almost this new fire that has been lit underneath you. You're more empowered. Again, like I said, you are excited about the future. I see you guys really taking on or taking charge of your life. So this is you being extremely focused on what it is that you want and going and making shit happen. Basically, don't be surprised if this month you get a bit busy. I do feel like for some of you guys, time restrictions. So you may feel like you don't have necessarily a lot of time or like the day passes you by very quickly because you're very busy for this month. Now, when we talk about challenges here with the queen of pentacles, I feel like for a lot of you guys, it is the challenge of seeing abundance around you. So what do I mean by that? The queen of pentacles is holding on to that big ass pentacle, right? But underneath it is a bunny and bunnies are a representation of fertility, of abundance, of opulence. It is having everything, right? You're being challenged in the aspect of learning 
to count your blessings so that you can experience more of those blessings. And I say it's a challenge because it's coming up in the challenge position. So the queen of pentacles, you know, looking, or if you can see all around her, there is nothing but abundance and fertility and greenery and roses and right. Having everything. If we learn, sometimes we have to experience certain things so that we can learn from them. And if there's been a bit of lack of stability, it's learning or understanding that everything that we can ever need or we can ever have, we have within ourselves. It's just learning to align ourselves to that energy so that we can tap into it. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're being challenged or you have been challenged, but in this month, you're realizing your true power or your true potential, Leo, especially when it comes to manifestation. So again, if you guys are manifesting, make shit happen this month, because again, with the six of pentacles, whatever you put out will be coming back to you. All right. Now, when we talk about love and romance, we have the Ace of Swords. There's a new beginning for you guys. For some of you guys, um, you could, in fact, be dealing with an Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Uh, Ace of Swords does indicate to me an honest type of love, an honest type of connection, someone that's very straight to the point, straightforward, very cutthroat. They don't sugarcoat anything. And I feel like you are going to be very drawn to this type of energy because it's very intriguing and very exciting and even a bit dominating. And it's something that is definitely going to stand out about this person. I feel this is a new person for a lot of you guys. It's not someone that you're currently dealing with. However, for others of you, this person could be someone that you're already dealing with. And if you are, they can have some type of tattoo, some type of emblem, something that is connected to like something that has to do with a bird, something that has to do with like an eagle or some type of bird or some type of um, even like a doorway for some Um if you are already dealing with them, if you're not, again, like I said, this is a new person that's coming into your life. Now, when we talk about spirits, advice, eight of pentacles, sweetheart, stop worrying about money. Stop worrying about your finances. Stop worrying about uh, structure because put your nose to the grindstone and make shit happen. No excuses. Make it happen. Uh, work is going to be, again, and that could be the reason why they're telling me like, Something with time or lack of time could be that because you go from like not necessarily working very much to working very long hours. Uh, for others of you, work starts to pick up. For others of you, it could be that opportunities start to come your way that are going to make you much more money. All right. All right. Moving on. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November, 2023. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November, 2023. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Virgo. All right, we're starting off here with the Three of Wands. Expansion, a lot of growth coming your way. For some of you guys, you're going to be communicating with someone that is at a distance or perhaps not in the same location uh, that you're in. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be new love. It could be that you find someone um, or that you connect with someone either through social media or through some type of dating app or something like that, that uh, may be at a distance, but I do see the connection or the physical connection actually happening. It is time to embrace new beginnings. That's for sure, Virgo. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is for a lot of you guys, uh, three of wands with the ace of cups does indicate to me new love coming your way or picking up in the romance uh, department. Uh, there is advancements for some of you guys communication, like I mentioned with someone that is at a distance or from a distance. However, I do see the actual meetup or I do see actually physically connecting. Now, I do want to mention the challenge here is the full card. And when I see the full card in the challenge position, it usually indicates don't be led blindly. Um, so what I mean by that is if you have questions, Virgo, ask questions. If you feel uncertain or uncomfortable, get yourself out of that situation or don't put yourself in that situation. 
And I'm not necessarily talking about this person. I feel like this is a genuine connection. I feel like it has more to do with either people from the past or uh, this could have to do as well as like with finances and your career. Okay. So what I mean by that is for some of you guys, it like basically the challenge is stop being naive, stop repeating the same mistakes, learn from your past. That way you don't have to keep dealing with the same never ending cycle, Virgo, because you've already outgrown the situation. Okay. Especially those of you guys that are like hopeful or what is it? Hopeful romantics, uh, people that, you know, fall in love very easily. Um, if this is you and you're connecting with this, pay attention to the red flags. If there's questions that you need to ask, ask them. Don't believe people at face value. Pay attention to their actions. It's that simple, Virgo. All right. Now, Spirit's advice, the sun card. There is blessings that are coming your way that are unexpected blessings for some of you guys. There's an offer in regards to your career finances, uh, something that has to do either with the raise or with taking higher responsibility, but it comes with more money. Definitely take that, uh, Virgo. You want to take full advantage of this opportunity. For others of you, the blessing is a relationship that's coming towards you for this month of November. All right, my lovelies, let's see finally libra <laughs> let's see what libra can expect for this month of november 2023 libra sun moon rising venus for the month of november 2023 libra sun moon rising venus for the month of november 2023 By the way, I hope you guys are enjoying the readings and all the videos that I'm doing for you guys. I'm being more proactive on my channel uh, than I have the past few years. Um, and I hope you guys appreciate that because it definitely takes effort and time. And I'm usually running off of uh, very little time, you guys. So anyways, if you do like it or like them, subscribe to our channel. All right, moving on. Libra, here we go. We're starting off with the six of swords. You guys have had enough and you're moving on. You're moving on towards much more stability. For some of you guys, there is this ending of communication with someone from your past, or perhaps you've decided I'm done with the past and you're moving on. As you move on, you will start to experience much more abundance or financial stability. That's going to be your sign. That's going to be your big ass green sign, uh, Libra that the person you were dealing with in the past was definitely holding you back. Because when we start to experience abundance and opportunities start to open up the moment we leave someone or we're not dealing with someone anymore, that's just a sign that they were the bad juju. Do you get me? So again, fully embrace these opportunities that are coming your way in this month of November. Now, the challenge here is the five of swords. I don't necessarily see it as a challenge. Why? Because you have the 10 of pentacles. The 10 of pentacles is abundance, growth, major stability. Five of swords indicates to me people being resentful or being petty around you because they don't see or they don't like, not that they don't see, they definitely see, they don't like you thriving and it's okay. Let them be petty. Let them, you know, uh, be wallowing in their hate or whatever like don't if they throw bait don't bite into the bait basically why because it's it's very low vibration energy and you just don't want to deal with that you don't want to deal with people trying to trigger you or trying to get a reaction out of you this is just people that are being petty or that you will start to notice even friends libra you will start to notice that they give you like backhanded compliments but the reason for that is because they don't like the fact that they see you doing much more better or they see you much more empowered or they see you like a goddess or like a god being in control of your life and it's just not sitting well with them. And you know what? They can rightfully just fuck off. Okay? Don't fall into that. Now, when it comes to love and romance, judgment card here, making the decision, I feel for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been dealing with a person off and off again, uh, on and off again, sorry, with the judgment, you're making the decision to walk away from this. Why? Because you're moving on. You're moving on towards calmer waters. You're moving on towards more stability. You're moving on towards things that are going to bring to you the type of structure and the type of stability you've always wanted. 
and good for freaking you, Libra. You deserve it. Do not let people from the past drag you back into the past or into their drama. You've outgrown these situations and it's time for you to be living your best life. Now, Spirit's advice here is the seven of pentacles. Again, you put effort and you will definitely see the results of it. You move on and cherish yourself and love yourself so much that you're walking away from anyone that would dare to hurt you or would or has let you down in the past and start planting the seeds of what you want. Start planting the seeds of the future that you want and you will definitely start to see the seeds start to grow, start to grow, start to stem or start to see the stems come out. Um, it is very, I'm going to be honest, I'm seeing a lot of stability for you guys. And I feel like some friends, some people that are close to you may fall out this year for you guys, but that's okay. I assure you, you will survive. I've gone through this many times in my life. I call it shedding. And you know what? It's great because you realize really how much they were pretty much writing off of you. And we don't want leeches. Okay. We don't, especially going into 2024 Libra. So best of luck to all of you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. If you did like comment, let me know down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you are new, I would definitely see you guys soon. Happy holidays. And we'll see each other soon. Till then. Bye.